Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the multiplate clutch. So clutch is basically it is the mechanical device which is used to connect the output shaft of engine to the input part of the transmission system. Means this clutch it is being placed in between the uh, powerhouse and the transmission system. So now as the name indicates multiplate clutch. Now here will be number of plates. It can be n number of plates. in this clutch so as to transmit the power so we will see in detail of this multiplet clutch so here in this multiplet clutch this is the shaft which is coming from the engine so it is called as engine shaft and this engine shaft it is attached to the flywheel so flywheel is nothing but the output part of the engine means this flywheel what is the purpose of using flywheel flywheel it is used to store the energy and when it is been required we can getting or we are recovering from it so this flywheel is nothing but the input part to the transmission system which is coming from uh, the engine then these are the clutch plate so these are the n number of clutch plate if you see here there are n number of clutch plate so these are nothing but as they are one more than one so it is called as multiplet clutch so this multiplet clutch is named on this basis that here we are using more than one clutch plate to transmit the power then all this clutch plate they are been hold with the help of this pressure plate and pressure plate it is exerting pressure on this clutch plate with the help of this spring so that this clutch plate will be in contact with respect to each other and also in contact with the inner surface of the flywheel so here the inner surface of flywheel will be also having the friction lining material and here on the clutch surface the clutch plate surface also we are there having friction lining material so initially when your vehicle is stand still here if you see there are two position engaged and disengaged so when it is means when this pressure plate is in, in this direction exerting force on this clutch plate so your clutch will be in engaged position so in order to proceed your vehicle for the gear transmission purpose here on this clutch pedal you have to press this clutch pedal so that this uh, shaft means this is the clutch shaft which are having splines so that this whole assembly will get slide and the spring will get compressed and the pressure which is exerted by this pressure plate on this clutch clutch plate will be released so that this clutch plate will be no longer in contact with the flywheel and there will be change for the gear position easily without any thrust or any knocking noise or thrust force then afterwards when you have change the gear position again you have to release this clutch pedal slowly so that the clutch plate here they will be get gradually engaged with the flywheel or the driving plate so that the power transmission will be smooth through this clutch shaft to the output shaft so in this way our this multiplet clutch is working so now this multiplet clutch is also called as the wet clutch because here this clutch they are been inserted with the uh, in they are basically immersed in the oil so why there is need as there is maximum friction so there will be more heat generation and in order to dissipate that heat we have to use that uh, oil so this multiplet clutch is in being immersed in the oil and as compared to single plate clutch in that the area of the single plate clutch is maximum as compared to this multiplet clutch so they have been exposed to the atmosphere so in the single plate clutch whatever the heat it is been generated it is going to the atmosphere so there is no any need of providing some oil or any other coolant so single plate clutch is called as dry clutch and here multi plate clutch is called as wet clutch so now we will see the animation part multi plate clutch adding plates to a clutch unit to form a multi plate clutch will increase its torque capacity without increasing spring strength or clutch diameter this clutch assembly has three clutch plates with friction material riveted to both sides of each an internally splined hub on each clutch plate mates with the splines on the clutch shaft a cast iron separator plate fits between each clutch plate this friction unit that is clutch plate is between the flywheel and the pressure plate when the pressure plate assembly is bolted to the flywheel a pressure plate assembly 
consisting of a steel cover, a pressure plate and a segmented diaphragm spring, and a release bearing and operating foe. The clamping force on the friction facings is provided by the diaphragm spring. When removed, diaphragm spring looks as dish-shaped. As the pressure plate covers tightens, diaphragm spring flattens out to exert a force on the pressure plate and the clutch plate. Now, as we can see, clutch plate is engaged with the flywheel and torque is transmitted from the flywheel through the friction facings, that is clutch plates, to the transmission input shaft, that is clutch shaft. Hence, rear wheel of the car also rotates. When the clutch paddle is pressed, the release bearing acts on the pressure plate diaphragm and moves the pressure plate away from the flywheel. This releases the clamping force on the facings and separator plate and allows flywheel to rotate freely without turning the clutch shaft. Now, the clutch plate disengages with the flywheel and drive is no longer transmitted. When the pedal is released, the spring tension forces the pressure plate, clutch plates, and separator plates against the flywheel, clamping all components together. Thank you.